How's it going guys? Today I got a bonus video for you. Microjig sent me this box of goodies. So we're gonna crack it open, see what's inside, and uh, hopefully put a few of the products to the test. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start by cutting this open. Um, truth be told, I already opened it once because I got it a few weeks back and wanted to check it out right away. And then I decided this would definitely be a good video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. I already have a kind of general idea because they already told me what they were sending me beforehand. And uh, the first thing I see here is the t-shirt. This is probably the Microjig Work Smarter t-shirt. And yeah, it's a pretty sweet t-shirt. No, um, there it is, Work Smarter. And then it's got that little uh, Microjig logo on the side. So that's pretty sweet. I'll definitely be wearing this in some of my future videos. Up next we got a... Uh, um, a dovetail clamp, match fit dovetail clamp. Not really sure what that is. I'll take a closer look at that in a second. So after that we have a grip block. This is um, it's kind of like a more advanced push block for your table saw. So I actually want to do a test on this one today as well as the famous gripper. So I'm going to definitely check this out and this I'll put them to the test today and see what the, all the hype is about. So see if I would actually want to purchase it myself. So the last thing in the box we have here looks like it's a zero play guide bar system and this appears to be pre-made runners for your table saw. So I'm assuming that instead of having to make runners when you build a table saw sled or a miter saw sled, you can just use these ones. Then you don't have to worry about the issue of the wood expanding or contracting when you're using it in the winter or summer months. So taking a look at the gripper first, let's go ahead and pop this box open. And the first thing I see is a DVD, I didn't know they came with that. So it has a DVD, probably instructions on how to set it up, and then I got all the parts and pieces. So it looks like there's a little bit of assembly, and uh, then we got like all the main components to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this real quick, and I'll get right back to you guys. Got it all done. So the main thing I want to test is the really thin pieces because a lot of push sticks can do the wide stuff without a problem. So I think this is kind of more focused on being able to do the really thin pieces and the hard to reach places because it's going to take away all that weird stuff where you have to like kind of like shimmy it through with two push sticks and everything and it's kind of like wobbling. So hopefully this should fix the problem, stabilize it while I push it all the way through. And uh, I set it up for about three quarters of an inch. That's pretty darn thin. I mean, yeah, you can go all the way down to a quarter inch wide, it says. But um, I just want to test three quarters of an inch. And from there, I can tell that I can adjust it even smaller. But let's go ahead and test the three quarter inch and see what kind of cut we get. So going into this, I had really high expectations for this cut because um, I see this thing everywhere. This, it's the safest push stick, the safest this, safest that. And I was always a bit skeptical, but um, after using it, I definitely can uh, say that, I mean, it works just as advertised. It works great. I really don't see any issues with it. At first, I thought it would be like a lot of stuff to adjust since there's a lot of stuff on here kind of, but it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So after putting it to the test, I gotta say it works. I kinda wanna try a few more cuts with this because it worked out so well. I thought that this thing would get like mauled apart when I put it through the table saw because, I don't know, it felt almost too easy to, uh, to cut like that. So, so I just got to testing the grip block and it pretty much performed my expectations there. I really like this grippy material they have under here. It grabs the wood really nicely as opposed to just a traditional homemade one. Your homemade ones just kind of slide across the top, but this stuff grabs it really nice. So I would definitely recommend both of these things. Thanks to Microjig for sending me all these things. And uh, I probably will end up buying another one of these in the near future because it's gonna be nice to have two of them at once. So then you can do that whole leapfrogging technique and all that. 
but this is definitely really cool. It opened my eyes. I was always skeptical about it, but after today, I'm, uh, I'm really impressed by it. So thanks to Microjig for sending me all this stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them in the comments below. Thanks you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video. I'll see you guys next Tuesday with regular projects.